Welcome to Data Barracks Episode 7 and the third in my data quality series, which is on the data quality dimension of completeness. My name is Scott Andrews. I am President and Practice Lead at Data Barracks, where I consult on data analytics and data management projects and also lead training seminars. We started out our discussion on data quality dimensions by talking about accuracy. Accuracy is one of the most difficult dimensions of data quality to measure. To reliably gauge this dimension, we usually need to verify against another data source. And while this might be easy if we're attempting to measure the number of widgets our company sold in the last quarter, it is more difficult to accurately measure number of sick people in a region or attitudes and opinions of customers or fellow citizens. Completeness, on the other hand, is the easiest of the data quality dimensions to measure. Any data profiling tool can easily give you a metric or visual on the state of completeness of a particular field or value in your data set. What I am showing you here is the data quality indicator from the Alteryx data integration tool. The green bars indicate data quality is good and the values are complete. The yellow bar on column F5 indicates a large number of null values. Typically, these are measured for null values or for blank strings. For a discussion on nulls, I recommend you watch my episode describing null values. Essentially, when we have null values or blank string values, these tell us the data is not complete. Depending on your data set, this may or may not be a problem. Some values in a data set, such as last name, are essential. Without them, your data record might be useless. But other values, such as address line 2, might be null most of the time. Sometimes values will simply not be present. Data entries in certain fields will be mandatory, and in others, it will be optional, and this is normal. Beware of making data fields mandatory and the implications this might have for your data set. I'm often asked for my birth date by random online computer systems, and unless I need to give it for some particular purpose, I resent the question, and if forced, will give it January 1st, 1970. This is not my birthday, and the January 1st date should be a giveaway on that. This will play into another data quality dimension we explore later, reasonability which takes into consideration the distribution of values. If a disproportional number of records show up on January 1st, you know you have a data quality problem. So completeness can tell us a lot about our data, but not everything, and forcing records to be complete can introduce entirely new problems. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode on data completeness. Please like or subscribe to hear more about data quality.